Hey y'all, it's Stephanie over at Stuff Scrappy Space. Um, by special request, I am doing a video on how I edit my pictures for Instagram, YouTube thumbnails, etc. So if you want to see how I use PicTapGo and Snapseed on my phone to edit pictures, so I'm said videos, to edit pictures to make them Instagram worthy, then stay tuned. This is Stephanie with Stuff's Crafty Space, and um, I am going to do a video on how, to, how I edit my pictures for Instagram and for my YouTube thumbnails and stuff like that. So, let's get started. This is the first time I've like filmed, sorry I'm going the wrong way, um, my actual phone, so I'm not sure how this is going to work. Okay, so I'm just going to take a picture of a spread that I've already done with my phone. I'm trying to get one that has a lot of color so you can see. So this is this is my birthday week. Um, okay, I just go into my camera, um, and I do do pro, so I think it helps some. And um, we'll just pretend like I have pretty stuff all around it, you know, and I'm up above, like, because of the way this is, so I'm up above taking the picture because I can crop out if I need to. Okay, so this is the picture that I took. No, I can just move this out of the way. Okay, so this is the picture that I took. Now I'm going to try to zoom in. There we go. Maybe that'll work. Okay, so it's in my gallery. Now I'm going to go to my photo section and pick tap go is going to be the first, the first one. And I'm going to click on this. There we go. And that's the picture, so I'm going to hit edit. I do not like PicTap Go's cropping, so I don't use it. But I do like the filters. So, and yes, I use a stylus, call me old, whatever. Um, so you can see, there we go, like lights on, lights out, there's different things. And it shows you what it's going to look like if you choose any of these. Alright, so the first one I generally choose so I can keep the colors bright as crispity. So I choose this one and it has made the colors a bit brighter. Then I go into filters again and I can do lights on and that automatically has brightened up the picture a lot. Okay, and I, I like that. I don't do a whole lot of changes in Pick Tap Go. Um, for the background, I save that for Snapseed. So this is as much as I'm going to do. So now I'm just going to hit the go section. And then right here it says open in. So I'm going to click open in. And here's Snapseed. So now I'm going to open it in Snapseed. I'm going to go to tools. Maybe if I just lay it down it'll be okay. So I'm going to go to tools. Now the first thing I am going to do, I think I have to rotate this one. So I'm just going to rotate it. Now that's correct. And then I'm going to hit the check mark. I'm going to go back to tools and I'm going to crop it because I had things on my desk that I didn't care about. So I'm going to crop it. Now as you can see, it looks pretty good just like that. Um, so the filters and pick time go worked well I don't know if you can tell on the camera but down here there's a bit of a shadow and so um, I'm gonna go into tools and I'm gonna hit the selective now what that's gonna do is I can put it anywhere so I'm gonna put it on the bottom so see how it made that B now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna 
go out, all this red space is going to be brightened. So I chose that. You can see where it says brighten as zero. So I literally just take my thing and I can brighten it. And it's going to brighten up most everything except maybe the outer edges. So there may still be a bit of a shadow on this side. So I'm going to hit this plus button and put that there and then I can adjust the brightness and then I can do the same thing hit the plus button put it in this little corner and adjust the brightness and now this picture is very worthy of and then you hit the check mark and now that's saved right so I can also go into tools and I've also used the brush okay now if I want to get rid of and I don't know how well y'all can see it. Let's just say I want to get rid of that shadow right there. So I want it to be not dark in that little corner right there. So I'm going to hit exposure. And I'm going to jump it up to, well, I'm sorry. Let me go back. So exposure's here. So you have dodge and burn exposure. So I hit exposure, right? Um, and now because it's so small, like a very small space, I'm going to double tap and that's going to bring me right there so I'm not going over. So you can see the shadow. So now I'm going to take this brush and brush that shadow out. Oops. Now this where you see the blue mark is where it is on the page. So it's way it's shot way up here. And the shadows I care about are underneath. So I just lightly take my, and this is why I use a stylus instead of my big fat finger, I have more control. So I can get rid of that shadow that is at the bottom. So y'all can see that shadow there, and I just take and erase it like that. All right, and then hit the check mark, and then double tap again, and it brings you out, and that's it. Um, now there's still a little bit of a shadow, right? So I can see that. So I hit brush again. I'm going to double tap so I can get close to it. And it's automatically on dodge and burn. So I'm going to hit that brush and the exposure and it's at 1.0. You can go down, but if it's a dark shadow, then I know that I have to... And sometimes you do have to do it like more than once. It's only going to do a little bit at a time. And so you hit the check mark and then go back to tools. Sorry, I think there's a glare from I don't know what. Um, and then hit brush again, exposure, and you're there. And I'm going to go over and just make sure it's all done. You have to be careful because if I go way too far up here, then it's going to just really wash out the page itself. Um, and then what I also can do is go back to the brush and do dodge and burn. I don't know what the difference is in all of this stuff. I just know what I've done. Okay, and I'm going to go down to five because see how this is a little bit on the dark side? So I'm just going to brush it and just lighten it up. Okay, I'm not trying to get rid of the black lines because that's part of my um, planner cover, right? So I still want it to have a definition around it. And that way you can still see the page from the background. If you do too much, then your page just blends into the background and it does. there's no distinction there. And then I hit the check mark and I'm, I'm good with this. Now what I do when I'm in here is also then go to text and I pick my text, which I always pick that one, double tap, and then I put my IG handle, sorry, I cannot talk and type letters because then I'll be typing what I'm saying, and then I hit OK. Now, I don't know why this is, and if somebody knows a different way, please tell me, but I have to shrink it with my fingers, like you have to like take the whole thing and shrink it and then make it line up right and then I just move it down to the bottom and so there's my IG handle and hit that check mark and now it is all like the way I want it there's 
excuse me, different things in here um, that I've also done as far, I've done the frames before, and so I could put a frame around it if I wanted to. Um, for whatever reason, if you want to do frames, there's also frames, but I don't want a frame on this one. Um, so when you're finished and you are happy with that product, then you hit done and it's saving and it's saved. So because you can see right here where there's a red check mark on gallery. So now I know that this picture is saved in my gallery. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go into my gallery. That's before. Oh, wait. Um... Well, those are old. Where did that go? Hold on. <laughs> trying to do this. It may have, oh, it's, I think, all photos. There we go. Okay, so that's before. And where's my after? Oh, it's way over here. Okay, so that's before. I don't know why it's in the middle. And that's after. So you can, let me just delete this. I don't need that anymore. Before. You can see how like dark it is and the colors aren't that vibrant and that's after. So that's how I do mine and then I can upload it into Instagram immediately. So it is right there um, in my gallery and I can upload it to Instagram and do all the things. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave me questions in the comments. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, y'all have a blessed day. Bye.